Hello everyone, welcome to AWS Tutorials. In AWS Tutorials, we use uh, exercises and workshops to implement uh, scenarios. And when you implement scenarios, you will learn about AWS services. And today we are going to talk about a use case where you use um, an AWS service called AppFlow to transfer data from S3 bucket to S3 bucket. Uh, so let's uh, talk about um, AppFlow a bit. So AppFlow is uh, a managed integration service from AWS, and it is uh, primarily used to um, make secure data transfer from um, SaaS applications like Salesforce or ServiceNow or Slack to AWS services like uh, S3 or Redshift. Um, but the same service can also be uh, used to move data from um, from within uh, like from source and destination both within AWS. So, for instance, S3 to S3 or S3 to Redshift and so on and so forth. Um, one of the few, few key feature about AppFlow is very important to understand. On uh, so, AppFlow uh, is designed in such a way that you don't need to write uh, any line of code in order to transfer the data. So, it has a built-in uh, transformations and validations and filtering which you can configure to doing the data transfer uh, process. Uh, for instance, if we're talking about the transformations, um, you have a feature where you can actually merge two fields. So suppose you have got first name, first name and last name, then you can merge both fields to make full name. Similarly, there are some other transformations available where you can truncate certain fields or you can mask a particular field, so things like that. Uh, similarly, you can also do validation on the source data. And uh, in validation, actually, you can check for data quality, uh, like uh, if data has got um, um, null values or uh, it is missing values. And in that case, uh, you might want to handle that missing data. And, and handling could be either you simply ignore the record or you can no, uh, uh, you can stop the flow altogether. Uh, you can also use filtering in AppFlow and filtering is used to uh, filter uh, the source data which you want to transfer to the destination. Uh, so you can do this kind of transformations, filtering and validation. And when you do so, uh, you don't write any line of code. You simply do that by configuration. And today we are going to use this AppFlow uh, to uh, do a simple data transfer from S3 to S3. And this tutorial I have made basically to understand the capabilities of AppFlow. Um, uh, but to be honest, I mean, I do see that there could be scenario where you would like to do simple transformations on your S3 data and move it to some other location. In that case, AppFlow uh, can be used. So, the scenario which we are talking today is uh, we will have some source S3 bucket, we'll have a destination S3 bucket, uh, source S3 bucket will have some data, and we'll simply like to move that data to the destination. Now, this scenario can be achieved in many other ways. And, and a few, if I can think of here, is uh, you can use AWS Lambda uh, to move the data. And, but in this case, you have to write you know, a few lines of code uh, to get the job done. Uh, similarly, you can use AWS Glue as well to move the data from bucket to bucket. Uh, but in this case, also you have to line, uh, you no, know, you have to write few lines of code. In fact, in case of Glue, you can also, for simple transformation, you can also generate code, uh, and yeah, and then use that. But essentially, uh, it will be the code which will be doing the data copy from S3 to S3. But the scenario which we are discussing today is where how you can use app flow to move data from S3 to S3. And, and, and this pattern can be used for any of the internal data transfer like S3 to Redshift, Redshift to S3, or Redshift to Redshift. Okay. So let's 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 do it. Um, by the way, uh, I have got another similar video where I'm talking about uh, uh, of app flow uses where the source data is sales flow and sales Salesforce, and your destination is S3, and and that is more likely, uh, more like a 
uh, where you are using a, a, so, a SaaS application as source to move data to uh, AWS service. So let's talk about this scenario. Uh, and uh, what we have done is that uh, we have a website called aws-dozo.com where we publish all our uh, exercises and um, works uh, and uh, and workshops. And we are going to use one of the exercises from there to learn this scenario. Okay, uh, the URL of the uh, exercise has been given in the description box of the video. Uh, you can click on the URL to use the exercise for free. Uh, but um, I'm going to show you uh, the steps of the exercise in the remaining part of the uh, in, in the remaining part of the video. Uh, this uh, website has has many other similar workshops and exercises which help you build a scenario or a use case. And when you do so, you learn about AWS services and their use and how they work together to, uh, to implement a, a particular you know, a user requirement. Okay, so let's jump on to the exercise. So here's sort of our website, awsdozo.com, and we have, we have opened exercise number four here, uh, over here, which is, uh, using AppFlow to move data from S3 to S3. So as a prerequisite, um, uh, as a step number one, yeah, you need to have AWS account in place uh, and you should have administrative access rights to AWS account so that you can create resources inside that. If you don't have AWS account, feel free to create um, a free trial account. Um, and I have also provided a link for that. Then we create S3 bucket and we will create two S3 bucket source and the destination. Uh, and uh, we have given this name over here, but it might be that when you, when you run the workshop or, or when you run this exercise, you will realize that these buckets names are not available anymore. And in that case, you can choose the name um, the way you want and which is available. Um, just keep in mind, whatever name you choose, uh, you know, keep using that uh, in the remaining of um, uh, the steps like that. Then what you do that we have also provided a sample file, customers.csv. Uh, you can download, download that sample file from here. And this file uh, uh, then can be uploaded to, um, uh, is then uploaded to the source bucket so that we can create an app flow which will simply move this data file from source to the destination. Um, one of the, uh, you can say, feature of the app flow is that when it moves data from source to destination, uh, it always converts data into JSON file format. So right now the data is in the CSV format. Uh, but in the source, but when the app flow will complete uh, the data transfer, the data will be automatically transferred into transformed into um, a JSON format. So that's 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 the nature of the transformation when you are doing S3 to S3 uh, no, uh, migration. Okay, so moving on. Uh, so let's do. So step number three is creating the flow in the uh, Amazon app flow. So you first go and create the flow, give a nice name to the flow. Um, I'm skipping some of the data encryptions here, but you can yeah, you can use it if you want. Um, then we are going to configure uh, the source, and our source is um, the S3, and we provide the S3 bucket name. We also provide the prefix to look for the right kind of you know, file or the folder. Okay, uh, then you go ahead and, and define your destination. And in destination, you say that I'm going to use um, S3 bucket as uh, S3 bucket uh, as a destination, and this is my S3 bucket uh, name. Now, uh, after you have configured source and destination, you also say how how my flow will trigger. So you can either run on demand, which we are going to do now for this particular exercise, but you can also schedule the whole flow and in some data sources where you can do incremental incremental data load uh, or, or, or data load of the changes, in that case, you can also do event-based flow, okay? Uh, but in this scenario, uh, the two choices you have is running on demand or, uh, or running on schedule. So we select the run on demand. Now we move on. Uh, and then we click on, uh, so now we have to do mapping between source and destination. And, and, and uh, that is more to see how my source data maps to the destination. And, and 
to keep it simple, we simply say, hey, map all fields directly. And when you do that, what happens, it automatically uh, uh, maps one-to-one -one mapping between source and the destination. Uh, and here onwards, you can start doing some kind of data transformation. I mean, you can keep it as simple as this and say, hey, simply migrate. Or you can also apply some more transformation uh, to it. So one of the transformation we are doing is uh, is um, updating a particular field. So we selected email as that field and click on the modify values. And when you try to modify the value, uh, the two modifications you can do is that either you can truncate uh, the uh, data value or you can mask it. And in this case, we are choosing uh, masking as an option. Okay, and we are saying let's mask last 10 uh, characters of this email ID. Then the next transformation we are doing is that we have got this contact first name and last name, and we want to merge them, uh, merge them as a contact full name. So what you do for that is that you select these two fields and say click on the add formula. And when you do that, it gives you an add formula pop-up where you can go and select a formula as concatenate and say, let's uh, merge both or concatenate both first name and last name into contact name. Uh, and then you simply apply that formula. Uh, and since we have got contact name uh, or contact full name, we don't need this contact first name and last name. We simply go ahead and remove this uh, mapping so that uh, yeah, these two fields don't move. Only we get full name uh, mapped. So you do you do you do transformation like this, and you might say, hey, it looks like a very you know, limited transformation roughly three, uh, but I will say this is a new service, service and this is just a beginning. Uh, in coming days, I'm sure AWS will come up with uh, more uh, more um, more transformations where, yeah, which you can use to do uh, even more data, uh, no, more data transformations than uh, what you can do today. Uh, the next section is once you finish the mapping, you can go and do go for validation, uh, which is an optional uh, set. So we are not configuring here, but the purpose of the validation is to validate the source data. Uh, and you can do create rules like, for instance, if some, uh, some data value is blank, then simply ignore that uh, record or you know, interrupt the flow. Because you say, I, I move the data only when I have all the required fields in place. Or you can, if you want to drop a particular record, you can choose to do so also. Then you go and click on the next screen where you can go and add the filters. And uh, filters are used to um, add, filters are used to add filters on your source, source data so that you can only move the selected, uh, selected fields. And what I found here was that when I choose S3 as the source, I'm not able to apply filter. Uh, I try to find documentation which says it is, it is possible or not, but I, I so far have not been able to find any documentation confirming that um, your uh, no the filters are not available for the S3. So I can't confidently confirm whether filters can be used with S3 or not, but so far I didn't find this option uh, available to me when I choose S3 as a source. I have another video where I have used uh, salesforce.com as a source and in that case, um, yeah, uh, you can uh, actually uh, apply filter. I've seen the options available, but not when S3 as a source. So, um, so we can't do anything with filter over here. And then you simply click on the create flow to create the flow. The flow gets created in no time. And then you click on the run flow button to run the flow. Uh, and after a couple of minutes, the flow finishes the job uh, and then you can go to the destination folder and can uh, you can see the data has been migrated uh, or are transferred. Uh, not only it has been transferred, but it has also been transformed from CSV to JSON format uh, as, as S3 supports. Okay, so that finishes the exercise. Now the next step is to do the cleanup uh, to make sure that when uh, no, you're done with this exercise, you don't uh, incur any further cost on your AWS account. So it's pretty straightforward and simple. You remove your source bucket, you remove your destination bucket, and you remove your uh, dose of flow. So uh, once you do that, your account is reset and you will not have any further cost to your account due to this exercise. So that finishes the exercise. Hope you like and enjoy it. If you go to aws-dozo.com, you can find many other you know, similar workshops and exercises which help you implement a particular 
requirement or use case and when you do so you learn about the capabilities of aws services okay so feel free to uh, go to the website and run the other exercises and 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 um, exercises which you like if you like this video please click on the like button please click on the subscribe button um, uh, if you want to know, know get more you know, uh, more uh, about uh, you want to learn more about such videos coming in the future if you have any feedback and comment please please provide your comments to the comment box below or you can also provide feedback at our aws-dojo.com website okay thank you very much for your time hope you like this exercise and have a nice day bye bye